Good morning, everyone. Um, as the mayor of St. Chris, there's eight criteria. The first one has a variety of data items. Uh, one of those is population, um, which can be looked at different ways, whether you look at total population or daytime population, uh, group course population, there's a whole variety of ways. On the next slide is a kind of a quick summary of the 2010 census data that came out. Um, there is a variety of areas that have grown. Um, of course, uh, let me back up to this slide since we've got it on the screen. And I don't have my glasses. The middle age is setting in, and I can't read it as well from here. Um, but there's a variety of things that fall under population being served, such as um, convention and trade shows, athletic events, um, you know, values of those things to the community in different ways that you measure people. Okay. The next slide. Um, Again, there's a more detailed listing. Healthcare sales, accommodation and food services, manufacturing sales, um, a whole variety of these, and we get into some more of this detail as we go further into the presentation. All right, here's the 2010 census data. Um, we as a community have grown a lot more in this past 10 years than was forecasted by the Census Bureau or by even some of the large economic firms that predict growth um, surprisingly more. Of course, those of us who live here realize that, yeah, there was a lot of things going on up until the recession and growth was pretty rampant. Um, some places grew more than others. But you see, we went from about 92,115 10 years ago to 109,233 now. Um, and that's about an 18 point something percent increase countywide. Um, pretty rapid growth for um, a county of this size. And there on the chart you see the breakdown by community, um, five individual cities, of course the county as a whole, and then even the unincorporated area we've broken out as it's in line, and that's shown in the green numbers there. On the next slide is a look at some of the trends that have been going on the past 30 years. You see the census population totals starting back in 1980, and you see how our population has continued to march onward and upward. Um, and currently, under the 2010 census, it's a, uh, if you added the cities together, you get about 55% of the total population, about 45% total in the unincorporated area. Um, and the percentage of growth in the cities is up a little higher than it was 10 years ago. Um, and that is a trend that we're starting to see, um, not only in Georgia, but throughout the southeast and other areas of the country, between the, the growing areas of what we call the Sun Belt. Um, it's a trend of um, urban areas and cities. It's not just city limit population, but even whole urban areas are starting to grow a little more rapidly than they had in the past. Decades ago, particularly when gas was cheaper, suburban growth was more present. Um, but now we're seeing people coming back to cities, we think, because closer to employment. Gas prices probably drive them, driving them in closer, um, and more services for the population. We know.